Hey YouTube, it's uh, Monday the 4th of March and I've been uh, into Leicester uh, to Game World and some charity shops today. I've uh, got some more gaming pickups for you. So the first ones are from... Um, uh, actually, I've been market as well, sorry. So the first one's from the market and this is for the Sony PlayStation 1. It's a Die Hard Trilogy 2 and that was uh, £4. Uh, it's a one player game and that was released in... 2000. Um, I picked that one up because um, I've got the first Die Hard trilogy and I absolutely love that. So I've never played this one so this is uh, going to be a um, nice addition to my collection. Uh, as I say I really enjoyed the first one so I'm looking forward to seeing what the second one has to offer. And as you can see it's complete. It's in really good condition. Uh, there's no cracks in the case, no splits or missing pages in the instruction book and the disc is uh, pretty much mint. That's rated 15. Uh, the next ones are from the Cancer Research UK charity shop in Leicester. Now the discs are scratched on these, so I'm not sure if they're going to play, but I've got them anyway. Um, I've got them for the cases and instructions, because uh, the ones I've got are quite tatty. So um, These are for the Sega Saturn, and it's Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition, and uh, Sega Rally Championship. So uh, they are just to place the packaging as it were on the uh, the ones I've got the uh, 50, p 50 pence each they were so that was absolutely bargain quite surprised to see those in there they've all got the instructions um, I don't think you're able to see the scratches on the disc but they're quite scratched I might be lucky they might, might play and there's the instructions for that one next there's a console from Game World, good old Game World. Uh, this was £45 and it's a original Nintendo DS, uh, boxed uh, complete with instructions and uh, charger. So in really good condition, as you can see the box is really nice. No tears or holes or anything in there. And we'll just open it and show you inside. So it's even got the little uh, pamphlets and uh, safety warnings, which is nice to see. A lot of people throw those away, and it's got the uh, hand strap there and the old charger. And the unit's still in the poly bag. And as you can see, there's no uh, major scratches on there. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see actually, uh, but there's a terrible word for it, there's nothing on there. The screen's pretty much in mint condition, very, very light scratches on the top screen, um, but nothing. Other than that, uh, all the paint's okay, and they're uh, rubbing off in the corners, um, as you would expect to find on these original DS's. And yes, yeah, um, pretty pleased with that. Um, a little bit of a wear on the stick on the bottom, but I'm not fussed with that. So that's the original DS. Uh, that's my first one I've ever had at the original DS. Um, I've got a DS uh, Lite and a DS iXL, so that goes with the collection uh, with my handhelds. Uh, the last, last editions are all from um, the British Heart Foundation charity shop. And I was quite surprised to find these. Um, quite lucky. Bit of a mix. Um, Nintendo GameCube, Xbox. Um, the first one's a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And that's by Sega. That's just £1.99. Uh, that was released in 2002. It's a two-player simultaneous game and it's Game Boy Advance compatible and as you can see that's complete. That's a very nice find for $1.99. EA Sports Madden 2004 NFL um, that was just 99 pence original Xbox and that's a one to four player, uh, player game that was released in 2003 and these are all to go for my uh, full PAL collection of Xbox games. And the last two I couldn't believe I saw these to be honest. Um, I've been after these on eBay but I just didn't want to pay the prices on eBay a bit too much. Um, I don't like paying too much for my Xbox games so to see these um, for this cheap was really nice. It's um, Project Zero and Project Zero 2 uh, Crimson Butterfly Director's Cut. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, they're both $1.99 each so that was fantastic. Uh, the first uh, one's a one player game, it was released in 2003. And these are all complete in uh, pretty much mint condition. 
and the phase uh, project 02 that's also complete and that's a one player game and that was released in 2004 so they're my top pickups for today and glad to get another console handheld film collection uh, thanks for watching leave your comments below and i'll see you soon